what is up everybody welcome back to the channel if it's your first time here make sure you smash that like button that subscribe button and join the family hope everybody's having a great week if you're not it's okay because it's middle of the week which means it's hump day aka it's the middle of the week guys which means you get over this hurdle we're one step closer to the weekend if you happen to work on the weekend i do apologize i hope you have a great weekend either way also make sure you smash that notification bell that way you can be updated every time we drop a new video which we are doing every week on the channel so i highly recommend going to check out the new games that we're playing on the channel this happens to be one of them uh today we're going to be continuing our journey on one piece pirate warrior 3 uh we're going to be starting uh i guess according to the anime we'd be starting the scott pia arc we're going to be starting uh in the um <coughs> the island that leads us to Sky Island or Sky Pia. Now, there's a lot that happens here. Um, there's a lot to cover here. This, But this island does actually a fairly good job of covering it, uh, whereas Alabaster was huge, and that was last episode. I recommend you go in to watch it, as well as all the ones leading up to this if you've not watched One Piece. Oh, this is what I was talking about last time. They're actually going to show it. Perfect. This is where we pick up Nico Robin. She was all Miss Sunday, who worked right hand of Crocodile, who Luffy saved. She was going to give up in the bottom of that cave. Look at Sanji. Look at Sanji. Sanji thinks he defiled her. <laughs> Luffy's just like, what? <laughs> No, you did me a great disservice. Now take responsibility. I don't get it. What do you want me to do? Let me join your crew. Form him. It's all Sunday. Huh? What? I wanted to die, but you saved me. That is your crime. I have nowhere to go and nowhere to return to. That's why I'm on this ship. Oh, is that so? Well, then, okay. What? <laughs> She's not a bad guy. What's crazy, though, is they've already left and they're long gone. And they haven't noticed her yet. That's not a huge ship. However, what's falling from the sky is a ginormous ship. Anything that a person can imagine has the potential to become reality. Ugh. Yeah. The Sky Islands. Alright, if you don't know what a log pose is, a log pose is what guides you to navigate the sea from island to island. Bellamir, the hyena captain. Three million belly. What? Zoro is such a great right hand man. This is a little backwards. Yeah, it's a little misleading. Now this is right. This is absolutely right. I don't remember if it was the fight was over the Sky Island, but basically... Oh, teach. 
I don't see why they would fudge it that bad in the game. Maybe it was over Sky Island, but I, I think it was over being King of the Pirates, the One Piece. But maybe it was Sky Island. Ironically, teaches after Luffy. Another foreshadowing. Luffy already doesn't get a good vibe, but that whole bar scene in the anime reminds you of the flashbacks of Shanks and the Mountain Bandits. It's just spilt liquor, and Luffy was wanting to know why they were didn't fight him, and then the same thing happens, and Luffy follows Shanks' footsteps. So it's crazy um, just how much he's grown. Uh, but it's okay. The, the Bellamere gets what's coming to him, and we, we'll see that probably by the end of the level. But anyway, so this actually covers a lot closer, like I was saying. Alabaster was so big, so much going on, and it was hard to fit that into one fight scene. And, uh, you know, there wasn't part one or part two. They just did it as a whole, which is fine. Now, after we leave there, we've got uh, Nico Robin, uh, who can read polygraphs, polygraphs. FYI, I butcher everything. Now we've hit this island to try to find out why our log pose is pointing up and there's a history to the island the island used to be a lot bigger and it also used to be uh have gold on it uh there was an explorer named nolan who found it returned back to his country and then when he came back to the island the gold was gone and he was known as nolan the liar well, there's a guy on the island that's a descendant his name's cricket and he's trying to prove basically that Nolan wasn't a liar and he dives deep looking for gold and occasionally he'll find small gold bells which was described in Nolan's stories and uh, there's even a book I think written about Nolan but it's actually in the sky the upstream took part of the island up to Sky Island which is what will be next after this um, but right now we're trying to find out information about it, but that's that's the direction that we're going, or that the anime's going. So I'm really curious to see how well the information here holds up, uh, because we didn't spend a lot of time on the island. I think maybe two or three, maybe four or five episodes. So it's interesting that the island's here in this game, uh, but I understand why it is here. It's telling part of the story, so that's fine. We'll go through it. It's no big. I mean, we got to go through it, right, to get to the next one. Um, if you've never seen One Piece, you know, spoiler alert, maybe I should put that in a little bit sooner, uh, but I just get carried away talking about uh, anime. This is one of my favorite animes. I, I'm a huge One Piece fan. Um, things about the games, if you've never played the game, I'll ex explain it if you're looking into playing it. There is One Piece Power Warrior 4. I don't know where it starts. I don't know where it finishes. Um, I know this finishes with fighting Do Flamingo. Um, I don't really know how to pronounce. I don't remember. I don't remember exactly what it's called. If I seen the name, I could probably pronounce it. But that's after Punk Hazard. Uh, was it Dorose? Dorosa? Uh, that's where this one finishes off. And you know, you have the animal pirates after that, or the elephant, where you um, and you have uh, Big Mama, and you have the Land of Woe. So there's a lot after that, and that's where I'm pretty sure Pirate Warrior Four takes you. I don't know where it starts. So if you've never played the game, I'm going to explain what you need to know about it. That question mark represents a treasure event. That's uh, things you need to do. Some of them, some of us have two, some have five, some have four. Uh, just things that you have to trigger. Once you trigger them and complete them, and some are timed, some aren't. Um, that's part of the ledger. That's one of the nine portions of a ledger, which basically gives you a comic of that particular uh, what you did there and it goes into an overall basically big ledger once you complete it all it kind of tells the story of one piece uh, kind of like a comic book uh, it's really cool the each part of the ledger has nine spots uh, for each level uh, and they're really easy to go through one of them is beating the level one of them is beating it on hard um, one of them is treasure events doing all the treasure events so that's three of nine all right so now four more of those nine are s ranks s time s kills s assist kills and then getting all three s's 
So that makes seven. Number eight would be killing the final person on the level with a special fin finisher, which is entering the special rush and then doing the finisher as the final attack. And then number nine varies from a lot of stuff. Yeah, right here, Nolan's story, the Mountain of Gold. So it does explain it. That's great. I'm glad it explains the detail. That's really nice. He brought the king back and made the king like a fool. He had him executed. Which, of course, these guys being part of the New Age Pirates think it's sunk, but it's actually in the sky. So, alright, so the bar to the left by Zoro and me that are going down vertically is a gauge. Uh, once it's maxed out, you can trigger a special rush. Once you get it past one, you see the three by Zoro, it goes one, two, three, then max. Once you get it past one, you do different combos, and Zoro will come out and do assist kills. Now, the assist kills are gold, your kills are blue. Anytime you're in that special rush, all kills go to a blue and gold. So if you kill one person, one goes to each of it versus, you know, splitting them like when you're not in the rush uh, because you're working as a team and that's just how it's triggered. Um, now, time, I shoot for under 15 minutes. It, time is based on level and how much you have to do uh, verted to that. I've had one that I've got like 18 or 19 minutes on and got an S rank. Had one that I got 1545 or 1552. Had to replay it and get it under 1530 or 15 minutes. I forget exactly. So it just varies. A uh, good number to shoot to is 2000 blue, 1500 gold. Um, some will require more. I'm assuming the further you go down the road or depending on how many enemies you have to fight, them are just good numbers to start off shooting for. Now, as you can see, I've entered a special rush here. So everything I get is going to both of them, which is really nice. Now, a good technique for this that I'm going to explain to you and then move on. It's, it's really good to do this near a red area that you have access to. That way you can really capitalize on it. And I just kind of moved away and turned around and faced the crowds. Now, watch. It reaches really far. I just, I mean, I just got huge numbers. But if you're not out, if you're out in the open, there's not a lot of people and you trigger it. Try to trigger it near a red area or start out in a red area that's close to another red area and go through and destroy as many people because they start out kind of loaded and you can go through them fairly quickly and then you have to wait for them to parp out the side carriages. So you can go through and trigger one and just kind of clear it out best you can. And as it goes down, move on to another red area and just pop off a finisher and get them big numbers. Let's count the zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, so it's a hundred million? A hundred million? You guys sure are noisy. What are you talking about? So Bellamere, I think, is three million. Three million? Hey, he th I mean, he's just arrogant. He's confident. But Luffy's is a hundred million. I mean, I can get where he's coming from. Luffy didn't give off any vibes that he was worth a hundred million, but it's Luffy. It's not until he's pissed off that you realize it. By that point, it's too late. And I guess his name hasn't really carried too much weight. I mean, he just defeated Crocodile. That news probably hasn't traveled across the world quite yet. Or he wouldn't be saying that. But then again, if I remember correctly, he's working under another warlord, which comes to fortuition uh, near the end of the game. Um, I don't know if they'll show it. I just know that uh, from the anime I've watched, because I'm all caught up, um, give or take 20 episodes, uh, that he was, even back n now in the anime, at this particular portion of the anime, uh, he's working for Doe Flamingo. 
if there's another warlord. Doesn't mean he knows anything about Crocodile yet, though. Because obviously, if he knew I took down Crocodile, a warlord, considering he's working for a warlord, even if he doesn't respect Crocodile, it would my bounty would carry a little bit more weight than that. But my bounty doesn't carry any weight with him. And it did in the anime, all the way up to the end. So, it is what it is. Alright, I'm about 400 shy of gold and about 450 shy of blue. But we got two more red areas we can cover. Now, another thing that I don't really get to talk about too much is if one of your crewmates are trying to flee and it tells you up there and you're maxed out, run over to the area they're struggling in and automatically go into a rush before you go in the green circle because the green circle gives them health, but it also maxes out your bar over here to the left. So you can, before you step in, as long as your health's not too low, just go ahead and pop off a special finale. Just go right into a special rush, pop off the finale or the finisher, and then you'll get all those kills in that area. Then you can pop in his circle. He'll get health, and he'll re-raise your bar right back up. It's just a free getting golden kills. Um, it's a really nice technique. Everybody's coming out at once. Might as well go ahead and use the rush. Get as many of the golds as I can get. And it's better if you can fight as long as you can in the rush uh, because every kill counts versus just popping off a finisher. Now, there's tons of people everywhere. Now, when you start to get low, you want to work your way to one side. That way, you, when you unleash it, it's facing one direction. There we go. I almost didn't have time to release it. So, we, you got to be careful of your time a little bit. All right, we just broke the threshold for both of bare minimum, and I like to shoot for 2,000 gold, and I like to shoot for 25 blue, but bare minimum is 15 too. 15 gold, 2,000 uh, blue. 1,500 uh, gold. I don't want you to think 15,000. So, there's that. Well, we killed all the captains, so everybody's kind of like panicking. Don't want to fight. All the territories are gone too. I'm trying to get as much bars up because sometimes, uh oh, with that hockey, I didn't think he'd even get a to three million. I can't believe he got this far. So, Teach is actually trying to capture Luffy to give him to the Marines to get his seat as a warlord, like as a peace offering gift, showing that he's capable. Uh, the world government at this point, the fact that he took down a warlord and some of the other stuff that he's pulled off, the world government's not happy with him and his crew currently. Um, so that's what Teach is actually doing here. Now, I said in the last episode, if you didn't watch, that Ace was actually hunting Teach. He's not hunting Teach because Teach is hunting Luffy and Luffy is his brother. He's hunting Teach for the simple fact that Teach killed a crew member and they're on the same crew for a devil fruit and then left. And they're part of the Whitebeard, Whitebeard Pirates and Teach is left and is claiming he is Blackbeard. So... And, it looks, and if I'm not mistaken, he only has two or three crew members under him currently. Burgess and then a sniper that rides a horse that looks dead. I'm pretty sure because I think they try to snipe them as they take the updraft up to uh, Skypea. Or Sky Island. I don't know what you want to call it. But this is nice because there's tons of yellows everywhere and he's retreating. And I don't have to use my max. And I'm almost got everything that I need. So I guess Blackbeard's down here. Let's go take care of Blackbeard. Oh no, is he gonna flee? He fled. I was supposed to fight Blackbeard first, then Burgess. There was a treasure event popped up and it doesn't look like I completed it. Because we defended the Golden Mary, but I didn't get no cutscene. But I did, was able to get my max back up before we fight Bellamir. Oh, 
病者が俺の言っていたぜ。黄金を取り返しに来た。Oh, so in the, in the anime, they take some of the gold that Cricket finds from Darwin earlier, they take from him. And, you know, Luffy makes friends super easy. Him and Cricket are friends, so he doesn't like that. doesn't set well with him. So before they ship off, he goes and gets it back. And if I remember correctly, the log post resets after being at an island for more than three days. So they have to leave this island, like, soon. Alright, they're here, they're here, they're here. They're gonna converge on the Mary. That's, that's kind of rude. That's alright, they're just captains. I have my specials. And at this point, I recommend the level was 18. And I'm pushing 40. Thanks to the Dream Log update. Where I've been pushing the Dream Log with Ace and earning money. I've been able to upgrade Luffy and Zoro fairly well. Alright, guys, I don't have no beef with you. I'm after one particular guy. I don't feel like chasing all y'all down. Take out you. Then it's time to go after Bellamir. Come here, guy. Yeah. All right. So he's got three breaks. That's how you know that's the final guy so far. I've not seen anybody else that you fight that doesn't have three bars. And he's that means he's the final of the in other words it's gonna end after this fight. He's the last guy to fight. Or he's the main boss of the level. And these first two levels are going pretty nice. He's got springs for legs that can be complicated if that's what he uses as a technique. But I mean so far we've had I've had no issues taking him down. But now he's gonna go boom. We're going to have to work him down because he's not really going to take a lot of damage right now. We've almost got this area conquered. Alright, Robin, are you in trouble? No, you're not. You seem to have it handled. Let's see if we can't pop off a special. Hardly no damage. All right, looks like he's confused. Let's go ahead and go into our rush. We should be able to beat him down a little bit. And by the time it's time to use the special. I generally like to get it halfway across the face if I can before using it. Oh, we got it. Sweet. Oh, yeah, he knows how to throw one. Dude's super fast. And he's got a lot of potential. Don't make fun of his friend, guy. Horrible idea. Oh, he's mad now. Yep, just like that. One punch. He one punch man, this dude. Yeah, and everybody's dumbfounded, right? Like, just. His bounty's true. Nah, better man ain't getting up. Yeah, he was. But my guy's a hundred mil. Skedaddle. Yeah, he's the real thing. He's part of the worst generation. Which we'll get into much later. Much later. I know I keep bringing up stuff. There's so much that's transpired, it's hard not to. 
All right, we got our yeah. We're dressed up as a chicken. I remember this. If, if the only thing about cricket, I didn't understand why. If he knew all of this, why was he continue to dive instead of go up? I guess no one believes that the upstream could take up that part of the island. Well. <laughs> Luffy's just about the adventure life. Here we go. This is how we get to Sky Island. You ride it. Post of sails. Snow order water spout is a vertical ocean current. We gotta ride it. Tell him, Nami. They wouldn't be able to go nowhere without Nami. I mean, nowhere. And I'm still really surprised they don't come off of it more than they do. Like, I'm surprised they don't fall back. I mean, that was pretty cool when that actually happened, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Luffy just riding on the neck like he always does. That's his spot. So definitely, Sky Island's going to definitely be coming up next week, guys. So definitely check back. Uh, a lot of people uh, sleep on that particular uh, arc, but it is a great arc, and there's a lot that goes on there. I wonder how much they can fit into that particular episode. Looks like we got some treasure events to go finish back up. But we pretty much killed it, guys, so be safe.